Hello and welcome back to a Flippin' Mess reselling channel. Um, today we're going to do some retail arbitrage finds from Ross for resale and a Salvation Army customer appreciation sale, which means 25% off everything in the store. And they do that every Wednesday. But today we're gonna start with the retail arbitrage finds for those of you that like the Ross finds and Marshall finds and all those things. So the first thing that I found this week at Ross are these cute Doc Martens. These are the Devon Flower. Now I passed on, I think three other pairs of Doc Martens, two or three, uh, based on size and style, because they weren't worth as much as these. But this particular pair, I should be able to sell for around $150, and I paid $49.99. So not as cheap as thrift store, but still a great return. Okay, this pair has uh, mixed reviews. These are the Fly Ease, the shoes that you don't have to um, tie or anything. You just step your foot in and slip them on. And these are a men's nine and a half. Now I found out why the alarm kept going off. She looked through the bag twice. At least it's not still attached. Um, these I paid $39.99 for. Now the sales on these, when you look up comps on eBay, they do vary. The lowest I saw was $79.95, but there are some selling for $180 new without box. Um, so these should do well. Okay, Adidas Ultra Boost. Now, I love Adidas Ultra Boost personally. Um, I've always been a Nike girl. Um, I used to play basketball and uh, always preferred Nikes, but for comfort, these Ultra Boost shoes are, are great. Um, I had a pair that I wore personally for over a year. Um, so I do pick these up when I can find them at a low enough price. I don't pick up a lot of new Adidas to flip because they just um, move slower than Nike. But these were only $24.99. And if you don't know, um, retail on these would have been around $200. Now this particular style of Nikes, the Free Run 2, they are popular because they're lightweight and they're comfortable, but they don't sell for a ton of money. But the reason I picked these up is they were in clearance for $13.99. So you can't beat that, um, but I will probably only sell these for about 50, even though they're new. This was a surprise for me to find all birds at Ross. Um, they were in the women's section for uh, $9 and I paid $12. The original price they had on them was $35, but they were in clearance. And those shoes are typically like $110, $120. Okay, I picked up some hats this week. New York Yankees. Um, with the cute tropical detail, I paid $9.99. These will go for $29.99, maybe even a little more than that. The Yankees hat, I might get more. And then this Phoenix Suns hat, uh, this retailed for $32. I paid $12.99, and I should be able to get around $32 for it. And this Timberwolves hat, retailed for $35. Don't see the Ross tag, but I'm gonna assume I paid $9.99 for that one. Now with hats, one thing to keep in mind is you do need to ship them in boxes or they'll get uh, messed up. So make sure you have boxes on hand if you're gonna sell hats. Then I picked up these uh, Jordan <coughs> sweatpants, joggers um, for $24.99. Retail on these is $80. Um, I won't get a ton for these, but I'm hoping for 65 to 70 on those, which is still a good return for retail arbitrage. Finally,
Finally, I picked up some school supplies. It's just some watercolors for $4.99. Okay, now we're gonna move into our Salvation Army finds. This first pair of shoes are um, Steve Madden boots. Um, these were $15.99 and then 75% off. And they are called the Humble Boot, size eight. Um, Steve Madden does very well. You just uh, need to watch the sizes or sizes and um, style. Make sure it's a current style, either current or vintage. Some of their vintage chunky slides can do really well. Okay, this is a used pair of Adidas Ultra Boost, like the ones I just showed um, new. Uh, these were $13.99 and 25% uh, off. All right, Born Sandals. I picked these up because they're brand new. Um, they do have some marks though on them just from probably being tossed around there. They were $14.99 and 25% off. Those I will probably only get like $35 for. I'll hope for more, but usually it's a... Now these I don't find much anymore, but these are Skecher Shape Ups and they're a fisherman style sandal. They're $11.99. Um, and 25% off. And if you don't know, Skechers Shape Ups, um, they still do very well when you can find them. They used to do great, um, but we'll see. I'm hoping for about 50 on those. Okay. Next, we have uh, these Solomon uh, hiking shoes, the amphibian. Um, Solomon is a great shoe. Um, I've sold these uh, for around 80 before, but this particular style, I am going to have to comp to see um, how they're doing right now. But my guess is it'll be over 50. Okay, this pair was a risk for me. Um, these are indoor soccer which doesn't move that well even when they are brand new. Um, there's just less of a demand for the indoor ones. Um, you can tell because it doesn't have the cleats on the bottom, but these are affiliated with Neymar, who's very popular, um, and they were expensive for used shoes. They were $19.99 and 25% off, but the uppers look almost brand new. I looked up comps on eBay and I couldn't find any for this style. So technically I shouldn't have bought them. So uh, do as I say, not as I do in this case, but I'm hoping that somebody out there is looking for the shoe. The other risk factor with those is they're a size 12. And I typically find uh, soccer shoes move better in smaller men's sizes than they do big sizes. <clears throat> All right, these are Vionic. Um, I love selling Vionics. They do very well for me. In Bionics, if you don't know, they're actually um, expensive shoes. They're good orthopedic shoes. shoes. These were only $4.99, but they definitely have some, some wear issues on them. So we'll see how they do. Um, but these retail would have been around $100. All right, this Olukai. Olukai is a great uh, comfort brand shoe, beach shoe. And uh, these were $11.99 and 25% off. Um, and these will go for right around $50, probably in the upper 40s. All right, Mark Mason. This isn't a brand that I find much or pick up much. Um, but these were uh, sheepskin lined and um, I don't know. They looked like they might do well. And so that was my logic that they were $15.99 and 25% off. Um, I tried to run comps, but um, Mark Nathan is all over the place. So you'll just have to watch my sold video to see um, what I get. On the high end, um, Mark Nathan could do very well. But if you pick up Mark Nathan's collab with Skechers, then you're talking about 30s. Okay, 
these are Timberlands Barbie pink flats. A little bit of scuffing on the toes, but not nothing bad. These were $13.99 and 25% off. And they're really overall in pretty good condition. It's just the toe issue. Um, Timberland does well almost any style but obviously the boots will get higher amount than something like this but these should still be in the 35 to 50 dollar range okay here's a brand that um some people may not know about this is called chocolate blue chocolate blue is uh definitely a bolo brand um I'm not sure what the retail on it would be new, but these will go for at least $50. And I paid $13.99 and $25. Okay. Then we have these Adidas shoes in yellow and blue. This is more just a comfort shoe, street wear, $14.99 and 25% off. Um, these will move, but not for a lot of money. Okay, Keen. If you've watched my other videos, you know I love Keen. Um, they don't sell high, but they sell fast. And these are like rainbow tie-dye. Really cute for Keens, as far as Keens could be cute. Um, they're a size 9.5. Not sure if these are men's or women's, but I'll be able to tell when I look up the style. Um, so I paid $12.99 and 25% uh, off. These will go for $28 to $35. Okay, Jack Rogers. This is a brand that I've been thinking about stopping picking up, um, but this is kind of their signature style. These round, like embroidered looking details so that is why i picked up this style i thought they were cute they go with the boho look or the coastal look they were 13.99 and 25 percent off and again you could just look at them and if you know jack rogers you know that these are jack rogers shoes which are expensive um if they don't have a signature look or they're not super cheap then i probably wouldn't pick them up okay ms moose ms moose is always a good grab um, these are usually made in the USA and um, high quality leather and kind of um, traditional styles. These are a Mary Jane, um, $12.99 and 25% off. Now, Ms. Moo's, um, they sell pretty quick and they can sell for a high dollar amount, but it depends on the style. So I'm going to say 50 to 80 on these and we'll see on the sold video how they do. All right, Kohan, here we go again with the Kohans. I keep thinking I'm not gonna pick them up anymore, but I find them all the time. And this particular style is a good style. This is a driving loafer, penny loafer. Um, it's a size 10 and a half um, in very good shape, $15.99 and 25% off. Um, they're not new because there is a little bit of creasing, but they look almost new. Okay. I think that that was it for the shoes. All right, clothing. This is Lily Pulitzer. So you probably could have guessed from the bright pink. Um, but it's less uh, frou-frou than some of their pieces. This is a size 2, newer tag. And this was $9.99 and 25% off. Um, it will probably go for around $35. Okay, this isn't a common uh, brand for me to find, so I was kind of excited to, to find a, a new-to-me brand. Really cute, lots of detail on this. Couldn't find the tag originally, so I looked inside, and I could tell by the tag um, that this is probably a quality brand. It has the barcode made in Romania. It is Nissa or Nisa. Um, so this dress, hoping for $79 or better, but we shall see. I found some great stuff this day. There were tons of designer pieces. 
uh, one I had to leave behind. It was a Scotta. It was beautiful. It was black and blue cornflower, but the sleeve was ripped. And I know how I am. It would have just laid around forever before I'd finally fix it, if I ever fixed it. Okay, this is a cabbie dress, current tag and current style. The, like, sheer sleeve. Little buttons on the sleeve. Cute. $9.99 and 25% off. Um, Tabby varies a lot, so I'm not going to take a, a guess on this one. We'll just wait until the sold video and see. All right, this is unusual for me. I don't pick up a lot of vintage. Um, I'd like to know more about it, um, but this dress just told me for some reason, look it up. It was David Brown for Saks Fifth Avenue, California, and it's like this slinky knit animal print couldn't even tell if it was like nightgown or robe or nightdress or what so i looked it up and it has shoulder pads and this is from the 70s and his dresses are very popular right now it was 9.99 and 25 percent off and i should get at least 50 for it maybe more and it looks like the seltzer weight on those are pretty good too all right this dress is beautiful it's an alice and olivia this is a good brand um, just nice flowy with ruffles colorful flowers and they only had 7.99 on this so i would have bought that at the 7.99 uh, but it was also 25% off. The only downside is it is a size zero. So it's a tiny size. All right, here is one of the designer pieces. Kate Spade, always like to see that tag. Size 10, so it's a good size. It was only marked at $9.99. And then of course the 25% off. It's a cute little, um, it has these pleated details, long sleeve, pearl buttons, and a little tie on the sleeves. Um, I haven't comped this one, so I won't say a, a number, but Kate Spade, their jeans don't really do well, so I don't get excited about those, but their dresses generally do. So it's going to be over 50, I would say 50 to $200, so a pretty broad range. Okay, Bowden. You know, I like to pick up Bowden, especially current tag Bowden, but this is a more plain piece. A lot of times I skip the more plain pieces. Um, I liked the pockets on it and they only had $7.99 to begin with. So with 25% off, I thought it was worth that. Now, usually I get about 40 for Bowden dresses, but with that one being more plain, I'm gonna say probably like 28 to low 30s. Okay, here's another Bowden dress, a little better style on this one. Um, it has a tie waist v-neck. It's that um, crinkle material. Only $7.99 again and 25% off. This one should be more in the 40s to 50. And another Bowden dress. Green and blue, long sleeve. This is more of a knit dress. It's one that I would probably uh, pass if they had a higher price on, but $7.99 and 25% off. It's a good deal. It's just more of a plain style. Okay, and if you can't see, my little friend Minnie is over here. Say hi, Minnie. All right, so our next piece is this waif dress. Um, I don't pick up all the dresses from waif. This was a 158 retail, but it was new with tags. It is a long length and tie this bottom. That's one thing, like, I like how they tie up the bottom so they don't get all the fuzzy stuff on the bottom. Just beautiful floral print, pink. It's a size small and it was only $9.99 and 25% off. Um, that should do very well. Should be over 50. Okay. 
Eileen Fisher, um, I used to get excited about it. I really don't anymore, especially not in small sizes, extra small. But as long as it's cheap, I'm not going to pass it up. And it was $7.99 and 25% off. That will probably only get me like 28 to 32 Okay. This is uh, a brand that I don't pick up much. I pick up Talbots. I don't pick up much tea by Talbots because I picked up a lot of it in the beginning and it didn't really do that great for me. Some of it's still in my store. But this is a medium, new with tags, and believe it or not, even though it's white, you can see any stains or anything on it. I think they had just put it out because it was on the end of the rack. It was $4.99. So I paid like $4, just under $4 for them. Probably only get like $18 for them. All right, this, for all my Lululemon experts out there, I'm not 100% sure that it's authentic. It has a lot of the details, like the logo on here, logos on the zippers. Um, it's a men's Lululemon jacket. Everything looks legit except this. I've never seen it have this. This looks like cheap China stuff here um but i don't know because i haven't bought this exact jacket before so i am gonna have to do some research and make sure it's authentic before i list it but 4.99 at that price um i'll take the risk if it's not real i won't sell it um but i will give it to somebody in the family or whatever all right next we have figs if you pick up scopes, you probably know this brand. Good quality brand, that's their little symbol. Um, for $4.99, this is a good deal. Not sure what the things are going for now, but um, I know I'll do just fine with those. Okay, this was a personal pickup. Just a cute little cat and jack dress for $4. Next we have Everlane. I'm not good at looking at just general pants, but I did find these this week, $4.99 and 25% off. And when I look them up, these should go for about $28. All right, I got, somebody really liked this Gap Fit style because I had three pairs of them in the same style. I picked them up because of style, not because they're gap fit, because gap fit's not really like a super mover for me. Um, it's not bad, but it doesn't go high and it takes a little while, but $4.99 each and 25% off. Style-wise, I think people will like these, and if they don't move in my eBay store, then I will put them on whatnot, and I should be able to get more than what I paid. Okay, and we have this Lily Pulitzer. This one I wasn't sure if it's a nightgown or a dress. It has these cute pom-poms, but they do need cleaned up. Um, and again, super small. I don't know why almost all the Lily Pulitzer I find is super small. $4.99, but it will still move. Okay, here's a brand that some of you may not be aware of. It's called The Upside. This brand does well. It's a really cute print and unique drawstring. Um, they were $4.99. And uh, let's see what size. I don't see the size, so I may have to look at that some more or do measurements, but they look like a decent size. I don't think they're an extra small. Um, and these will do well uh, in the 30s probably. All right, here's another designer piece. Kate Spade again. This time though, a size six, so a smaller size. This has like almost a 70s vibe. Oh, Minnie, look at not tear it up. Silly girl. Um, really cute, long sheer sleeves, uh, deep v-neck or supplies top, um, $6.99 and 25% off, can't beat that. 
Um, not sure exactly what I will get for it, but I know it will do much better than that. Okay, a Bowdoin blouse. Um, this won't bring me high dollar or anything, but it was only $3.99 to begin with and 25% off. Um, so we'll see, probably 18 to 20 some dollars. Okay, here's a brand that um, I used to pick up and I stopped, but I liked this particular style, so I went ahead and got it. BCBG Max Azaria, and it's a size small. Um, it is silk with this v-neck and uh, elastic waist with drawstrings and packets. Uh, cute style, kind of has that 70s boho look to it. So I went ahead and picked it up. Cat wants to play. She can't play with the clothing. All right. Um, and here's the last pair of the gut fit pants. And what else do we have here? One pair of jeans. Now I almost didn't pick these up because it's definitely not a current style. But they are G-Star Raw, which are designer jeans, designer denim. Um, it tends to do very well for me, but these are low rise. So I'll use the Y2K um, keyword. And the pockets are tiny. Not sure what they were thinking when they made those, but $6.99. Um, usually I get like $89 to $100 for G-Star Raw. We'll see on those. The fact that they are low rise and kind of Y2K style, um, you would think that that might hurt them, but there are a lot of people looking for that style right now. So it may do very well. It probably would do better if I sold on Depop or Grailed, but I don't. Um, so we'll see if there's a market for it on eBay and I will let you know. Okay. Last things we have are a couple of breakables and I'm sorry about the paper. Now the cat's really curious what's going on. She thinks I'm crazy and talking to myself. Okay, I thought this was really cute. Um, I knew right away by looking at it that it was Blue Sky Pottery. It's a little ice cream shop, and I think it's probably meant for you to put a candle inside and burn it. Um, it did not have an underplate, and I'm not sure if it's supposed to. Um, now, it wasn't super cheap. This was $6.99, um, but Blue Sky Pottery does well. Just have to be very careful shipping it. Okay, right, now the cat's in the bag. Here, have some paper. Mm -hmm. now the bag. Okay. And the last thing, oh, this is something my daughter picked, but these are popular, so it doesn't hurt to know. Guditama, which is um, Sanrio and connected with um, Hello Kitty, it's the lazy egg. And I don't know why, but they like to show the lazy eggs bottom. Um, so she wanted this coffee cup. It was $2.99, but uh, probably if you looked up comps, I wouldn't be surprised if this would sell for $18 or more just because of the popularity of the character. That's all I have for today. Um, that was actually a lot. Um, and we have a whatnot sale tonight on Thursday night at seven o'clock for vintage to modern jewelry. It's called the Jewelry Party. Um, and there will also be, besides costume jewelry, there's some sterling silver pieces for sale tonight. So if you'd like to join me on whatnot, um, we will be doing the live auction tonight. And then next Wednesday, we will have women's and men's activewear again at 7.30 p.m. on whatnot. Thank you for joining. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.